Welcome back. So this lesson, before I even started the video, I made a few changes. I kind of set out a, a, a static width for this bar right here being 250 pixels. I kind of added a bit of margin here. I moved the toolbar back to the app component and uh, I'm going to show you how I did that. So jumping into the code here, the first step was I kind of just went into my app component and I moved the app toolbar from the albums list and back into the app component right here above um, the app list. Now again, should it be here, should it be the other place, I'm not sure 100% yet, but I'm, I've decided to put it here for now because I kind of want the toolbar to be all the way to the border right here, but I want the content to have a small margin here from the border. So that's kind of why I want these two uh, separate right now. If I put this guy inside, it would look something like this instead, and you would see the small space here, notice between the border and the toolbar, and that just looks stupid. So I decided to kind of move the toolbar back to the app component HTML right here. The other thing I did was kind of, I just added a bit of styling right here, so that I have the margin for all the outlet right here, so that you get a small set of pixels right here. And the last thing I did is I just added a bit of CSS so that I'll get another background color, just pick this color for the background over here. And I also added the width, and the very final thing is I said that I want the content side to be white. That's all I did. So now what are we going to do? What's the next step? Well, I want to kind of just this lesson add a small icon up here. So if we jump back to our Angular uh, side nav right here, we can actually find icons. And I want to add something like this. So I want to start using their icon library. Now, first of all, we need to know to start using the icon setup, we need to kind of actually download or use the icon. So let's just jump back to the material setup right here and go into the get started guide. Scrolling down, you'll see I never added icon to my setup. I added themes, I added gestures. Actually, we didn't add that either. We'll do that later. But here's how you add material icons. You have to go into your index.html page and add this link right here. So that's what we're going to do this lesson. So jumping into the HTML and I have my index.html right here. And here I'm going to add this link for the icons right here. So now I'm going to start downloading the icons for my application. Sweet. But we also need to kind of start using them. So let's jump back to the components, jump into the button indicators and icons right here. Copy the, this is how simple it actually is to make an icon. And just to test if it works, I'm just going to grab the mat icon of home and I'm going to paste that into my code right here. So inside the app component HTML file, no, sorry, inside the nav bar, the toolbar, I want to try instead of writing click me right here, I want to add an icon. Notice right away it says, you don't have a matte icon. Now what do I need to do? You're right, I need to go and grab the module. And you can always look under API, what's the name of the module if you want to, and this one is called matte icon module. So I need to add that inside my albums, uh, sorry, my toolbar, my shared module right here. I need to say I want to use the matte icon module, and there we go. I'll just get that into the code, I'll save the code, jump back and have a look, and now it looks like a house instead. That's better. Now one more thing I want to put in here is, instead of using this icon, I want to find all available icons so I can pick from them. Now in here, there's the list of all the different icons that I can use. I'll just go in here and click the icon fonts right here. And then you'll see these are all the icons available. Now I'm looking for something looking like a menu. It could be the list one right here. So I'll try and add that one instead. I'm going to add list icon right here, list. Save this, let's see if it worked. So now it looks something like this. Now why do I want this? Well, of course I wanna be able to click this button to kind of show and hide my list, but I'm still not satisfied with the button. So let's jump back here and open the button. And now I want a different type of button. I wanna have a small button like this, a small mini fat button. Let me try and add that by going into the code and saying this is my button type. Now the mini fat, that's what I want. Jumping into the code and chasing this raised button into being a mini fab button instead. There we go. And then maybe just a bit of spacing right after this guy. So I'll just make a simple style right here. Um, style, margin left, 10 pixels. There we go. Let's check out how it looks. There we go. Now it starts to look like something I want. So that's all I have to do. Now I have a small icon right here. I have a rounded button and now I can start hiding and showing the menu soon. So that'll be for the next lesson. See you next time.